Hey Private, do, do you like dragons? Yeah, yeah, why? Because I'm going to be dragging my across your face. So today's video is brought to you by Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game available on both Android and iOS. You can also get it on Windows and Amazon. So you can collect over a thousand different dragons and build your very own Dragon City. You can also breed them together to make new ones and also feed them to evolve. So you can train your dragons and take them to battle in order to make them even more powerful. There are different PvP modes that let you fight against your friends and challenge other dragon masters. There are several events every week to discover and play new adventures. You can find many of your favorite YouTubers in Dragon City such as Dream, George Not Found, Eddie VR, and many others. Click the link at the top of the description and get your free special reward of 15,000 food and 30,000 gold. The very rare Thief Chief Dragon will be included. These will only be available for a new user and for seven days until the 1st of July. So please go and click the link at the top of the description, download the game and get your exclusive reward. Play Dragon City today and also thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring today's video. So I managed to fix Call to Arms. Look at this dudes, we have Army Men of War back in Call to Arms, meaning that we can come back to see what happened in the human dimension. So guys, remember, Call to Arms is the human dimension. We use this engine for the human dimension and then we use Men of War Assault Squad 2 for the plastic dimension. So I figured, right, now that I've fixed my game and you won't believe it, it was like the most simplest thing that was wrong with it, right? Um, it was literally just a single file that I had to replace and boom, it loaded. Um, so yeah, I thought, let's load up a map that I was working on just before it broke on me and um, play it out I guess. So this is just going to be a simple tug of war battle. We're currently in a green suburbs which is not far away from the green capital which is Block City. So remember dudes, this is a completely different universe. We're going to be watching the greens in this universe take on the greys. We've not seen the greys in so long. It's going to be an absolute tug of war battle. Look, we've got approximately 500 greys which are going to be approaching from this side. They've got tanks. They've got much more futuristic equipment in this dimension as well. Every guy is on free move so the AI will be completely deciding the outcome of this battle. And same for the greens as well. They've got around the same amount of troops that are going to be coming in from this side. So we're just going to see this complete muggly mesh between these cool little Jenga houses right here. Uh, also, this is where General CJ lives, and he's, he's a main character in the series. And then this is a uh, blue compadre. He lives right here. Um, maybe I'll, I'll give you guys a quiz. Who lives right here? Maybe some of you guys from the old Discord uh, would know. So that's the quiz. Um, anyway, let's get this uh, battle underway. We're going to press the start button, and we're going to see who wins. The battle has commenced. Oh. So the coolest thing about this version of Army Men of War is the fact that we can actually drop into a character. Look, we can see it from their point of view. Look at this. I'm so excited, right? I've got so many things that I can put into this game, especially with Gates of Hell out as well. Like, um, what could we build in Gates of Hell? Maybe that could be a completely brand new Army Men of War dimension. Tell me in the comments. Where are they? somewhere around here. There's gaps in the walls, look. Look how beautiful the graphics is on this version as well. Should we lead a squad? Let's. We're going to control this squad and we're going to lead them into battle. Come on, we're alpha team. Let's go through the grass. I wonder if I shoot, anything will happen. Can't really see where I'm shooting. So what, let's get a cursor. Oh, there we go, look. Haha, <laughs> I'm cheating. This is the only squad that we're going to control. And then we're going to let the AI... Oh! Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to let the AI play out the rest. It's just been so long since I've uh, actively tested um, this... Uh, there he is. Ah, we got him. Quick, quick, quick. No. We can't get through there. Look, look how many greys there are. We're just going to call it. We're just going to say that that was the squad down. We're going to lead them to it now. I don't want to get too many of them in killed. But if you guys remember where we left off in the human dimension, we'll be coming back to this at some point after we've done 
the campaign to see if the Greens can take out Mr. Uh, Redberg, General Redberg, in the Plastic World, because obviously there's absolute carnage going on over there. There's a full world war. And over here, it's not that much different, to be honest. You've got the Battle of the Corporations. You've got Donald Grump versus uh, Baron von Krasny. They're all battling for what's left of the plastic. He's a goner. Is he going to try and repair it? No. Not a chance. So the Greens seem to be holding their own. It's half and half at the moment. Uh, we'll start seeing a lot more damage when we start seeing the uh, reinforcements stop coming in to help them. Let's have a look from the Greys' perspective. Look, look at these troops, dudes. They look super epic. I'm actually really looking forward to building some more maps in this uh, Call to Arms engine. Also, what an absolute honour to be uh, sponsored by Dragon City. Um, I'll give them another plug right here. Be sure to go and check it out. I'm, it's a game I actually play, and uh, you know, um, it's a, just go and download it. It's in the top of the description. We've literally not been in this version of the game since the last Discord. The Discord that I sadly had to leave because it became way too toxic. So, move these guys around there. Oh god, now I'm controlling them. Force of habit. See what happens? I'm mighty the god of war. The god of plastic war. Oh, grenade. So here comes the greys. They're pushing through now. Um, another cool thing is, right, you can actually go inside the houses. Look, I've made real interiors. They've got, like, Jenga interiors as well. So, it adds to the effect. I've got so many things to add to this game, like, we've got custom vehicles coming, we've got, um, we're going to take the Gates of Hell animations, I think, we're going to put them into this mod as well, just so they look a little bit better. And then we're going to come up with a brand new campaign, and we're going to implement this new battle map technique. Oh, I just accidentally sent them forward again, what am I like? Because I did that, let's uh, send the, the Greys forward as well. It's only fair, isn't it? Maybe we could do some bets. Let me know in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? Freeze frame it right here. We're going to pause it right here, look. Now tell me, timestamp it. Who's going to win? The greys or the greens? Oh, let's get the bazooka out. He knows what he's doing. Let's check out this guy. And this is why I love it. Look how cinematic it looks. This is what it's like to be an army man on the battlefield. Let's see how long this guy survives for. Probably not that long with me. Don't move forward. Shoot through the grass. No! They see us! He's injured. We're gonna leave him to uh, heal himself. Does this, does this car work? He's damaged. We do have a machine gun though, so we can provide some covering fire. What is that? That's an MG42! Did, I didn't even realise they still use these things. Other than that though, these things have all been somewhat taken out, I think. I'm not seeing any more greys either. They're still coming into the map. Get some guys in this thing. I think this thing's got like a grenade launcher on it. But yeah, dudes, if you want to see more battles like this where they're just um, roughly scripted, quick tug of war, you know, we can we can do more of these. They're quicker to put out. Um, but I also feel like they maintain some of the quality as well, especially with my mapping skills. If so, so if there's any maps that you guys want to request or anything, throw them in the comment section. I'd love to be able to make some really cool different ideas. And also remember, right, if the greys push through here, 
they'll get through to the capital. Because that's pretty much where we left off in the story last time. Let's zoom into them. I want to see it from their perspective. So we're going to unclip the camera. We're going to zoom right in. That's better luck. Really gives a sense of scale as well with all the grass and the and all, all the, like the leaves. It's like a thick jungle. Right, that's it. We're pushing these guys in. No, he's not. He's lost his track. Shoot through the grass. This guy works. Right, move out of the way. Get him up there. I know the AI can take him through there. Let's see how well he, this guy does. If they have any sense, they'll follow him. Follow! Go! He's stuck in the middle of the grass. Oh, it's every man for himself now. I don't know who's winning. Um, I would say at this precise moment, it's got to be the greens. We've got a good mix of troops here as well. Look how beast these guys look. Got like the the PKM. Another cool thing about Call to Arms as well is the fact that we have helicopters. That's it. Fo focus fire. I wonder what they'll do. They've gone into the grass. Will they come back out? That is the question. All you hear is screaming. <laughs> On the other side, look. There they are. There's the greens. They blend in really well. The, oh, look at that pile. I lost a lot of good men today. I wonder how many plastic soldiers have died in this war because it's got to be it's got to be at least, you know, maybe 100,000 at least in the in the last few years because we've been doing this a while now. I'll have to count how many episodes of Army Men of War that we've done and have like a celebratory episode, something like an anniversary for it or something. Poor civilians have all been evacuated. Oh, who's that guy? Got a uh, M14 sniper rifle right there. I think they've lost all of their vehicles. Yeah, I made this mission. Well, I started making this mission, should I say. It's got to be at least six months to a year ago now. I'm just so happy to be back in this engine, so... Show me the hype, dudes, you know. If, if you're hyped to be back in Call to Arms as well. See some of the, uh, these amazing battle scenarios that we can create. Remember what the Greys are fighting for as well. The Greys are fighting because they are known as the outcasts of Greyvern. If you remember Field Marshal Greyvern, I think the Greens have defended the uh, suburbs this time. Then again. <laughs> Got a squad right here as well, he's patching up. A couple of guys over here. Sort of peeking through this window. Here comes the rest of the greens that is on mop of duty now. They're just gonna keep dying. Oh there goes the Jeep. So many of them still. 
Yeah, they've got the uh, other side secure as well. But then again, with the what's left of these vehicles could literally just wreck everyone. So, no, oh, maybe not. There he goes. Rest in peace. Oh, forgot to text you that. I'll do that tonight. Finishing them off. Oh, well, there goes it. <laughs> that just goes to show that the Greys, you know, they, they did attack and clearly they were repelled. So that means that in the future we still might be seeing the Siege of Block City. Because obviously this isn't every one of their forces. This will, this will probably be a good chunk, chunk of their forces. You know, there was at least, uh, you know, three, three to five hundred uh, Greys on this side. And it was the same for the greens. I think it was like perfectly sort of balanced in a way. It's just the greens just seem to have had the the upper hand look. Super epic. Just drop in and just run to the other side of the battlefield. A sniper dude. <laughs> Genuinely feels like a real army man game. Everyone's on clean up duty now. I think I might add some sounds as well. Just so it sounds like they're more active. Like the Call of Duty sounds or something. It's getting out of breath. But yeah, that's it dudes. A win for the greens. Tell me if you're green in the comments. Also, um, a big thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, I'm excited to be visiting this world in the future. This is just a glimpse. Obviously we're going to go back into Metal Force of Squad 2 and finish off the campaign against uh, Ruskin. Um, obviously, I've not uploaded the last uh, well, week or so. I've had some technical difficulties on my end, um, but they're all fixed now. Um, so, yeah, let's get back on with some more episodes of Army Men of War and let's make some cool other battles as well. And there's also plenty of surprises in store for you in the future. So, like I say, like, subscribe. So, like I say, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, help me out by downloading Dragon City. And I'll see you all in the next one.